Hello friends, welcome back to my culinary diary. Today I'm going to teach you how to make sardine curry and these are the ingredients. We need about 3 to 4 garlics, that is sliced as this, some onion, chili and curry leaf. These are the sardine sauce that is from the can I keep aside. And these are the some vegetables like I use one potato, I cut into cubes and one radish and tomatoes. Uh, some tamarind juice and sardine from the can. Uh, I use the ayam brand sardine. So this is the way of making the the paste, the garam masala paste. So we need about one teaspoon of turmeric, uh, two tablespoon of coriander powder. Together with this, about one tablespoon of chili powder. You could add more. And one tablespoon of fish curry powder. Now these are the four powders that I'm using here. As I said, you can also um, add on extra the chili for your own spicy level. So just give a good stir on this. Alright, just give a good stir. So I'm going to add shortly some water. So not too much of water, just a, a bit of amount of water to make it a thick paste. So that it really blends well when I'm making the curry. Alright, so as you can see here, it become a thick paste as this. So heat up the pan. I'm using the Chinese clay pot here to make my curry. So add on the fenugreek seed. About 2 tablespoons of fenugreek seeds here. That is, I'm actually frying it along with the oil. And add on some curry leaves. One onion that has been sliced. And ginger garlic, chili, all just adding together with this and give a good stir. Mm, the aroma of fenugreek seed, it's, it is so good smell. Now add on the tomatoes. One the, once the onion been slightly light brown, Alright, you can add on your one big tomato so that is cut cube as this. Now allow this to cook for a couple of minutes. Just wait till the tomatoes get softened. And now it's time to add the other vegetables. Once the tomatoes become uh, softened, you can add on your red dish and the uh, potatoes as well can just give a good stir now once the vegetable is about half cook okay add in the paste that you made just now together with this add the sardine sauce as well now why I'm using his sardine sauce so um, it really gives you a good um, sardine taste of curry. So therefore I cannot avoid this sauce so I'm just adding on for this curry. For sambal it's okay if you don't use the sauce but for curry it's a must to use the sardine sauce because that does give you the actual taste of sardine curry. Now let it cook well with this oil. The masala must cook well until it has no any uh, fresh masala smell. So as you can see, the oil is floating here. Means the masala is cooked as well. Together with this, I'm going to just add the thick tamarind juice. Just take a bit of amount of tamarind juice and just make it a thick paste. And add along this with this curry. Now let it cook. Now let this curry cook a while. So once it cooked, you add on some water. I'm using about like two to three cups of water. Sardine curry should be thick. It should not be so watery. And it's really suitable to eat with Italy, tosse, puri and chapati as well. So add on enough salt to taste. Now let this boil, bring this to boil and cook it well before you could add the sardine. 
remember do not add the sardine at this stage because the sardine will actually break and into pieces so as you can see the curry is boiling and it's cooked well and there's no any masala smell so now it's time to add on the sardine i've cleaned the sardine actually i've washed it and removed all the soft bones so um this is 300 gram of sardine yeah so i'm just adding along with this curry now just stir it so now it's time to add about three to four tablespoons of evaporated milk you could use coconut milk as well it's your choice and just give a gentle and softly you stir the curry because um, you don't want to the sardine to break so as you can see the curry is ready let it boil for a couple of minutes then it's ready so lastly you garnish with some fresh coriander leaf if you like this video subscribe and like and share thank you for watching